Hi guys, it's Philip here and welcome to this Cinema 4D and Octane Render Abstract and Composition tutorial number 3. As with my previous tutorials, we will be building this abstract composition right here. As with my previous tutorials, the project files will be available on Gumroad for you to purchase for 9 bucks. You can use these files and these renders for your own work, for your, uh, for your own portfolio or for your client work. It would be cool if you tag me. If you guys are interested in a full Cinema 4D modeling and rendering in Octane course, this is the landing page of my following course, so you can sign up and get notified once the course is ready. We will be going over modeling techniques for stylized isometric rooms, houses, buildings, towns, and night scenes like neon scenes, etc. So without further ado, let's jump into Cinema 4D right here and start building. This is our reference. I will put it on the screen next to me and yeah, let's do it. Uh, first, we need a plane. Uh, once you have a plane here. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using Cinema 4D R24 with a rusted pixel modeling layout here. If you guys don't have this, uh, it doesn't matter. Whenever I use a tool that you don't know where to find it, you can just press on your keyboard Shift C and this will open the command menu and you can type whatever tool you want here. So for example, ring selection ring selection and just press enter and actually double click here or okay this doesn't work right now because i'm not in a uh, edge mode so if i go here and then press it doesn't work because this item is not editable so now ring selection okay now it works sorry it doesn't matter uh, just a quick tip so we have a plane here let's delete this one and create a new plane uh, okay, we need 100 segments here and 100 segments here and for the width we will need uh, around 10k and for the height let's put around, around 18k. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. This is perfect. Maybe reduce its width here like this. These are the numbers, you can just copy them if you don't want to eyeball it. Okay, while we have the plane selected, uh, go Press shift on your keyboard and click on bend. It will put the bend as the child of, play, of the plane. Now, uh, with bend selected, uh, right click uh, this size here to make it, uh, actually make it zero. And now here put 250 and here put 250. Okay, this is a bit too small. So let's just increase it maybe like this and like this. Okay, this is our bend. Uh, we want to bend it here minus 180 degrees and now we want to rotate the band press R or, or on, on your keyboard to activate the band and then rotate it like this 19 degrees when you are rotating you can hold the shift to make it snap uh, like this and then rotate it like this okay this is our backdrop right now it's pretty small so we have to jump into the band and increase its height like this okay this is the perfect width or height whatever of our band here we are let's just create a cube now okay a new item is positioned here it's positioned here when it's created so we can just reposition our plane here okay i will repeat this now and uh, not again during the video uh, when you want to see this view the perspective view you can press f1 on your keyboard if you want to jump in the top view it's F2, that is this. Uh, if you press F3, this is the right view, and F4, this is the front view. Uh, so you can toggle between these views here, in camera, left, right, back, front, top, bottom. Okay, let's press F1. Uh, another thing, when I'm moving like this, I am pressing one on my keyboard and uh, the left click. When I am zooming, I'm pressing 2 on my keyboard, and when I want to rotate, I press, press alt, alt. So this is it. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. We want to position our plane so that whenever we make a new item, such as this cube here, uh, the cube will be shown. So the plane will go somewhere here and somewhere here. Okay, okay our cube is now here. Let's now create a camera we want uh, to let's just if you have octane create an octane camera if you don't have octane doesn't matter so let's just toggle the live window create a camera here and then close it jump into the camera view 
I'll go into co coordinates and right click uh, these, this, this, and these two. Okay, the camera is now reset. Now jump into the top view, pull the camera here and somewhere here. Okay, for these abstract compositions, we want uh, here onto our camera in object and in focal length, we want our focal length to be somewhere around uh, portrait, so 90 millimeters. Maybe we will change this later. Uh, let's just put it somewhere, something like here and zoom out. Okay, press F1. Uh, this is what we get. We can start here. Let's just jump into the make sure to save often save often jump into the settings render settings here and then uh, change copy this here enter and then lock it okay this is the square view we are getting then maybe jump back here and reposition our camera some like something here okay we'll change the camera a bit more later uh, this is our uh, scene Okay, let's zoom out a bit. We don't want the ceiling to be shown because as you can see here, we don't get the ceiling. So let's just zoom it out a bit and put it like this. Okay, and create a new item. It's a cylinder. Increase its width. Make sure the width, it has some margin here so that it will look nice. Okay, this is our cylinder. Reduce its height. Make sure it's just uh, touching the bottom like this. Okay, for the cylinder, let's just increase the rotation segments uh, to something like this so that it is smooth. And in the caps, activate the fillet and add a bit more of the radius here. Okay, we want to increase the height, decrease the height a bit, and again jump into the right view and position this here. Okay, perfect. We're starting with this. I think uh, we're completely fine. Let's just go into the camera, maybe coordinates here. And with my mouse wheel, I will pull the camera down a bit. This is perfect. OK, I forgot my reference, so I will jump there real fast. The reference is here. OK. Uh, let's begin uh, with the huge item here. Uh, this We can call this a column or a pillar, whatever. Uh, let's uh, see, it's made of uh, multiple parts. So we will begin uh, down uh, here at the bottom, for example, this part. Uh, it's uh, actually, let's first make this a purple part here that's barely visible. It's just a cylinder. Okay, let's do it like this. Cylinder. It goes somewhere here, make it increase its width. Okay, jump into the right view, make it like this. And increase the rotation segments and put it fill it. Okay, now to duplicate an element uh, while you have the move tool selected here, I mean hovered, uh, pr press control on your keyboard and pull it up. And now you want to increase its height like this and put it somewhere here okay this is fine let's add a few more rotation segments actually rotation segments are fine uh, we want to add uh, these details so to do that uh, what we will do is the following we'll make the cylinder editable pressing control on our keyboard then activate the points mode and then control a to select everything right click to optimize okay uh, now we wanna on our camera go right click go into the hmm, where is it i always for i always forget this but it's somewhere in the rigging tags okay protection now we cannot move our camera and we will exit the camera mode I will zoom in here and we will select this, go into the edge mode, select loop slash path cut tool. If you don't have it here, just go control C, loop cut, 
enter. Okay, we want to add some cuts here, so add a cut uh, like this here, and add a cut like this here. Uh, this is fine. And now we want to jump into the polygon mode. Uh, press UL on your keyboard for loop selection tool. Select two of these. Press D to extrude, and left click and drag to the left. Okay, this is what we wanted. Now go you all on your keyboard into the edge mode. Zoom in, select these edges. Okay, and now press MS on your keyboard to activate the bevel tool. Uh, add a little bevel like this. Okay, the bevel. Right now uh, we have a zero subdivisions, so just increase the subdivisions here to maybe two. We will get nice uh, highlights here. We're fine. This one is finished. Hopefully this one has enough rotation segments to look smooth. I think it does. So okay, we want and we now want to add these um, these details here, and we will do it with a boolean. It shouldn't be that hard. So let's first. While having the cylinder selected, just press uh, Control on your keyboard and add a sphere. Now the sphere is added on the cylinder. That's why we were pressing Control and just make the sphere like this. Put it here. Increase its segments. Okay. Now I want to add a few more spheres. So while pressing Control on my keyboard and Shift, actually press Control, move, and then release Control, but but. Press Ctrl, move, and now press Shift to make it snap to the steps. So, okay, 70 centimeters is fine. Release everything, do it again. 70 centimeters. First Ctrl and then Shift, 70 centimeters. Again, 70, and then this is fine, four of them. Okay, we now have four of these here. We now want to add a cloner. So, while pressing this cylinder here, uh, you press Ctrl and add demograph here, add a cloner. Now the cloner will go here and we'll change the cloner to radial and uh, make a group out of these three spheres, actually four spheres. Con Alt G to create a group and then put a group inside of the cloner. Now, this is what we get. Increase the radius of the cloner like this. And increase the count. Okay, this is what we get. Uh, now, we want to move the cloner somewhere here. Okay, now create a boolean. Let's see, where is it? Okay, a boolean is here. And now, uh, make... And I'll put the cylinder in the boolean and put the cloner in a boolean. And this is what we got. This is perfect. This is what we wanted. Uh, now uh, let's do the following. Okay, I'm wondering how we can make these edges smooth, but not do it manually. Right now, let's just leave it like this. Jump into the camera mode. Okay, this is what we have now. Uh, let's now select this one. Control and pull it up. Jump into the right view. Decrease its height, put it here, and let's just go back here, put it again here, put it again here, and put it again here, maybe. We'll just make it a bit taller, like this, okay. Now, select the cloner, and Control c Control v in your keyboard, pull it up. This is, we need this cloner but we do not need what's inside of the cloner and what's inside of the cloner are these spheres we actually want to uh, add instead of this sphere let's deactivate the, the cloner here and uh, select a sphere and then pressing uh, control make a cylinder here and now put the cylinder um, below the cloner and delete the null and now we have the cylinder here and activate the cloner. This is what we get. Uh, now go and increase the height of the cylinder. Jump into the top view 
and decrease the radius of the corner so that the cylinders are inside and jump into the cylinder decrease the cylinder radius a lot we want to jump back to the cloner and increase the count of the cylinders by a lot jump back here increase the radius okay i think this is what we wanted we can't see this let's just see why constant shading no hidden lines no i'm not sure why we get this ugly shading on the cloner but I, I don't think we will need this so just make it editable S press c while pressing cloner and this is now editable okay we still can't see this well this sucks okay never mind just leave it as leave it as is don't make the cloner editable this is fine we will deal with this later let's just see yeah this is fine okay on to the next item, let's delete this cube. On to the next item, uh, let's put two of these to the background. So it's a cylinder, cylinder, cylinder. So cylinder, rotate it like this, increase its radius, put it here, okay, like this, rotate it a bit, put it here, decrease its height. Give it more rotation segments. Perfect. Now we want to control C, control V for the new cylinder, pull it up, decrease its radius, decrease its height. Select both of the actually let's increase it like this. Select both of them, go into caps, activate the fillet for both. Add a bit more to the radius, this is fine. Maybe select only this one, add a, okay, I didn't add a fillet, okay. Now, again, duplicate this one, decrease its width, put it here, sorry. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong one, just decrease its radius like this, this is fine. Okay, while pressing this one, holding down the control make a sphere put the sphere here increase the number of segments on the sphere and uh, okay let's now add uh, this blue part here so it's just a cube that's uh, changed so create a cube here put it somewhere behind here Okay, jump into the right view, pressing F3, increase its height, put it somewhere here, like this, this is fine. Add a fillet to the cube and increase the fillet subdivision, I mean the fillet radius, put it somewhere here, press Ctrl on your cube, uh, press C, I'm going to the add point mode and select these and pull them down okay and you can pull these here as well this is perfect let's now add uh, these these are like mini tubes and then jump to the slice slice the tube rotate the tube like this 90 degrees increase its radius Actually, first increase its height, put it somewhere here, increase its radius, and the inner radius. Okay. Okay, for the cylinder that goes inside the, this pipe, actually jumping here to the tube to go to the object and make activate the fillet add a radius now while pressing this jump here press control on your keyboard to add a cylinder increase the radius of the cylinder jump in here make it actually let's make it same so go to the tube height is copy the height paste it to the cylinder this is perfect and now for the cylinder add the fillet increase rotation segments okay 
And now press the tube again, Control C, Control V. Now select the previous tube and copy the outer radius. Select the new tube, increase the outer radius like this and paste the, our previous outer radius to the inner radius to get this. And one, two, three, this is fine. This is what we wanted. Let's jump to the next element. That's this one with the sphere here. So we will use subdivision surface here, create a cylinder, put it here, increase its width like this. Okay. This is height, put it here. Okay, add some rotation segments. For the height segments, press 1. Okay, uh, press C to make this editable, go into the points mode. Control A to select everything, right click optimize. Uh, while pressing Alt, add it to the subdivision surface, go to the edge mode, click on the cylinder here, exit the camera view. If you lose the viewport here, go Control Shift Z to get back. Okay. Okay, we are here. This is subdivided. While you have the cylinder pressed, you can press Q on your keyboard to deactivate the subdivision. Uh, pick the path cut tool and add a cut here and add a cut here. Okay, now go into the polygon mode to activate this UL on your keyboard, select everything here. Actually, go into the edge mode and select this edge. Excuse me, go back to the polygon mode, select all of these polygons, press E to activate the move tool. And now what you want to do is press down control, pull it up, press T to scale, and now select this one and do this. And this is what you get. Let's activate the subdivision. This is what we get. Go into the loop cut and make a cut here. And yeah, this is what we wanted. Now jump back to the points mode, deactivate the subdivision by pressing Q. And go to the rectangle selection, make sure the only select visible elements is not checked. Select these, press T, and then scale it like this. You can click anywhere you want. And then again, you can scale this one. Okay, jump back to the camera view. Let's see how this looks like. This is fine. Okay, now with the subdivision surface selected, create a sphere here by pressing down control so that it puts the sphere on top. Put the sphere here, increase the segments. Okay, now when I look at it, it's a bit different, but let's just change the form a bit. So what you want to do, deactivate the subdivision, go here, scale it here. Okay, scale it like this. And then select these, pull them down a bit. And T, go to the top mode, scale them down. Here it is. Select the sphere, pull it down. Maybe make the sphere smaller. And now with the sphere selected, hold down control and create a tube around the sphere, increase its radius, decrease its height, rotate it like this. Actually rotate it like this. Okay. To the tube, add a lot of rotation segments so that it's smooth. Add a fillet. This is perfect. Okay, well, let's now add this pyramid shape here. We're just going to add a cube to the bottom here. Um, let's just scale it up a bit like this and then jump to the right view and do this. Is our cube intersecting with anything it is? So you should just maybe like put it like this. Okay, and now duplicate this, so Control c Control v on this cube. 
Put a cube up. Actually, we don't need this. So just with this cube, uh, create a fillet. And now decrease the radius a bit and unlock it. Uh, with the cube selected, create a pyramid while pressing down control. Put the pyramid here. Actually, let's see. Okay, we want a pyramid to match this. So do like do it like this. Okay. Pyramid is, is here. Now we want to add some press C while pressing down the pyramid. We want to add some cuts. So add a cut here. And what else do we want to do here? Let's jump. Let's actually go to the ring selection and select all of these. Press MM and select. Let's see how we can maybe select the other ring. It's not working. Okay, let's see. Like maybe like this and then like this. Select MM. Okay. Now go to the point mode, exit the camera view, activate the knife tool and create these why do we have a cut here okay we don't we will remove that one actually we don't need to remove it oh, excuse me okay now we have these and what, what we want to do is put Select this pyramid and go find the um, atom array and put the pyramid as a child object of atom array by pressing down Alt on your keyboard. Okay, this is what we get. And now in the atom array, increase the cylinder radius to 5 and sphere radius stays 5. And yeah, this is what we got. Now, when I look at this, I see that this is, has a bit more height and the cylinder radius is a bit smaller. So let's uh, do it like this, uh, four, four, and then the, in, turn off the atom array, press the pyramid. And what we want to do is rectangular selection. No, this is not good. Um, select everything, press T and we can pull it up. So scale it up a bit, scale it down. Okay. Okay, press Q to activate the atom array. Scale it down a bit. Okay, I think this is fine. Let's make sure it's here. Okay. Now let's while pressing down the atom array, uh, press control and then create a cone where it is it is here. Pull the cone here and rotate it. 180 degrees. It's not perfect. Oh yeah, it's, it was not 180. Okay, 180 degrees here, and put the cone here. Maybe like this. Okay. Exit the camera view. For the jump into the cone and we need a cap, that's for sure. We want to add fillets, okay. And in the object height segments, we'll go to one. Make the cone editable. Jump into the edge mode, the loop cut, and actually we can we can do this in a better way. Go with ring selection here. Press MM. Then press MM again, and then press MM again. Okay, and now we want to jump into the polygon selection and go to the UL for the loop selection. Select three of these. Excuse me, three of these. Okay, go to the press I on your keyboard for inner extrude, and then make sure the preserved groups is unchecked. And this is not a good idea. Preserved groups. Yeah, we don't want this. Uh, uncheck preserve groups, inner extrude like this, and then increase the offset. Okay, offset variation, subdivision. Okay, never mind. Okay, press this inner extrude, 
Press this one, inner extrude, by pressing I and then extrude it like this. UL, inner extrude, and UL, I for inner, inner extrude. And now UL, so like, like this and this, and D to do this. Jump to the edge mode, UL, and now select all the edges. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Okay. MS add a bellow. Perfect. Jump back back. Pressing having this pressed, create a sphere and pull the sphere up. Increase its radius and add some segments to the sphere. Okay. Next step, let's add uh, this, these little stairs and these stairs. I already showed you how to make stairs in a previous video, but since it's not hard, let's do it again. Create a cube, put it here. Rotate it. Okay, now add some segments. So we don't want X segments, we want Y segments. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. For five, this is five. Actually, yeah, five. And jump into the actually here for the X for the set. Make it like this. Leave the camera. Press C to make the cube editable. Go into the points mode. Control A. Right click. Optimize. Go to the edge. Polygon mode. Select uh, all of these. Press D in your keyboard, extrude. Now, while pressing Control, deselect this one. Uh, press the offset here, click the offset here again and press Enter to extrude, extrude again using the same value. Again, Control click to deselect, come back here. Again, okay, these are our stairs. They are a bit funny. Maybe we can scale them, okay. Mm, with while well, you have the stairs selected, you can actually, uh, let's center it, center axis two. click this. Uh, you can control C and actually shift C and type it down. So center axis two, and this will um, put the pivot points to the middle and then you can scale this a bit and actually jump into the, uh, I'll select, jump into the polygon mode and Select all of these polygons and move them back. We have our stairs. Put them here. Now into the edge mode. U Alt to select all the edges. Select these. Select these and activate the ring selection and select all of these. Now I'm asking your keyboard and add a bevel. Okay. This is our these are our stairs and duplicate them and put them here. Okay, and now let's create this capsule. This is easy. Uh, we want to add. Um, we want to add a capsule here. Okay, capsule is here. Add some segments. Add rotation segments, add cap segments. Now with the capsule added, uh, let's press on control and add a sphere, put the sphere here. Somewhere here, like this. And now create a boolean. Put both of these inside of the boolean and then press the sphere, duplicate it, control C, control V and put it here. Okay, this is our capsule with a sphere. Uh, let's uh, take this sphere as well, put it somewhere here to the bottom. Pull these stairs here and actually the whole capsule. Pull them here so that our composition takes up more space. Pull the sphere here, make it bigger. Select all of these spheres, add uh, more segments to them. 
Okay, let's now uh, create this element. So we want to add a torus, add a torus somewhere here, like this. Okay. Increase, decrease its radius, put it here. Okay, jump into the torus, add some rotation segments to it. Uh, so these are for where the, are these ring segments. Add some ring segments, go slice. Slice the torus like this. Uh, increase the pipe radius. Okay, and now Control C, Control V to duplicate the torus and in actually press rotate and rotate the torus for 180 degrees. And then again jump to the ring radius, decrease the ring radius, actually decrease the pipe radius and increase the ring radius. Okay, make sure the torus is on the ground. Okay, this is perfect. Let's now add a few more elements and we're finished. Add a little pyramid here. Okay, pyramid goes here, jump into the edge mode, press C, control A to select all the edges and then bevel them a bit. And add a, add a torus, put it somewhere here. Like this, okay, and add some ring segments. Pull the torus here, put it uh, as well somewhere here. Maybe duplicate it a few times just to make it a bit a bit playful, yeah. And I think we're fine with all the details. We don't need. It's not one hundred percent replication but yeah let's add these so add a tiny sphere like this sphere is here okay and now add it to the cloner monograph cloner by pressing alt then we need a grid but we don't need three here we need three here actually let's like put 10 here and 10 here and make it 63 Okay, and then select the cloner, maybe resize the cloner, put it somewhere here. Okay. Okay, this is our composition. Let's uh, go to the shading. Uh, I don't like that we have a lot of space here, so let's just unlock the camera uh, while pressing one, put our scene here. Okay. Maybe we can make it more flat by changing the focal length to telescopic and do this. Okay. I like it. This is fine. Let's now uh, go and add some add some materials to this. Let's shade this. So uh, I will just copy the materials I used from the previous and these are the materials I will show you. This is the color for the... This is a simple glossy material shader with roughness uh, around here and this is the color code for the purple. You can copy it, B6A1DF. This is the same shader but with a different color, so F2C196. Uh, same shader but blue. A1C2DF and same shader but pink. The FA1AE. This is a metallic shader with uh, roughness. In a roughness channel, we have a fingerprint texture, so you can Google for this fingerprint texture and put it to the roughness channel. And we need the same texture for our silver, so it's again a, a metallic material with uh, specular changed to whitish color while the specular here is changed to uh, yellow, like this, E8D8A9. So let's put the roughness, let's put this 
this one is sorry the roughness here the specular is gray as you can see d9 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 these are our materials and in here we also have this shader i will show you how to make this last so let's just assign the shaders before we turn on the octane so i'm just gonna do it like this orange for the background violet for the bottom blue here pink for the stairs we want a black one so control drag here and create a black shader as well like this pull the black one here and the silver one to the pyramid we want to make this whole thingy pink but uh, these cylinders here we want to make them black uh, yeah this is what i selected so make them black the background the this thingy here is blue make this purple and this is blue i do it like this it really doesn't matter how you shade it, you can play around with it, create your own. This is just a simple thingy, really simple shading, but it looks nice. Okay, now let's create the let's create this shader. Right, let's actually turn on Octane. So jump into the Octane Live Viewer window, dock it here, and activate my Octane settings. So you can just copy them. Here they are. We don't need this many samples because we have the de noise around. But first, pause the video and copy the settings if you don't have them in your camera. Here, activate the camera imager. Okay, make sure your AI denoiser is already also activated and uh, we will add a, an HDRI, a studio one. You can find this on the web. Uh, for this one, I will use something simple like two light setup. Okay, uh, this two light setup will light my scenes so that it's fine for the shading. Uh, I just now realized this needs to go down. Okay, for our two-point light setup, let's just... I want to light this from the right. A stronger light comes from the, uh, from the right so that we get this part lit and this part is in shadow. We can have the form stand out. Uh, this is fine. Now I want to create the shader I was talking about. Just for this one, let's uh, also add a texture. Uh, so image texture and add some roughness that will look cool. It will look more realistic. So within textures, I have this. And for the bump, Let's add some, maybe we can try the same texture for the bump. I'm not sure how it will look like. Maybe stupid. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Um, just clear it here. And for the bump, I will put some surface imperfections textures. You can find on the web if you want to play with this. So image texture, uh, I will just add uh, Maybe I have something here, okay, not really. So for the textures. <laughs> okay, I have some scrubs here. Scratches. Okay, and for the normal. I will add this as well. OK, 
Okay, nice. So let's add some gold to a few of these items. Rotate this a bit. Okay, now let's add uh, this noise texture. It's uh, pretty simple. So let's just duplicate uh, this one. Uh, jumping here into the Octane Node Editor. Uh, first, actually assign it to something. Let's just assign it to this. And then uh, we can play with it. So go into the Node Editor uh, here and put a Gradient Node. We need a gradient node, so gradient, and we need a noise. Noise will go here. So this is not the gradient that we want. So gradient, let's. We need an octane gradient. Plug the noise into the gradient, and then plug the gradient into the fuse texture, and here for the gradient. For the noise, increase the contrast. This is what we get. And now in the gradient, uh, we want to change the colors. So the colors here, let's just pick this blue. And for the other part of the gradient here, we can pick some other pastel like this. This is our material. Put the gold here, sign this here, and assign this here. Sign it up. Okay, this is the composition. Now I see uh, some things I would like to change here that I don't like as much. So let's select this cloner, pull it down a bit, uh, and increase the count so that you can see through it. And again, Select all of these cylinders and increase their height like this and increase the radius to look cooler. Okay, so these are white here now. Well, we have to jump here. These are our spheres in the cloner and we should assign these material by pressing control drag it here to assign it to spheres. And this is perfect. Pull this down. Okay, nice. This is what we wanted here to the bottom. This needs to be purple as well. I think that's it. So I even like the lighting, actually this corner. I even like the lighting here, so I might just leave it as is. We have a two point light setup in the HDR right? Let's just leave the Octane camera and let me show you how this looks like. So. Uh, this is our scene, it's being lit. Uh, mostly with this huge light that's coming here. And the other light is behind, so we're not getting any lighting from the left. That's why everything here is... But yeah, our light is getting scattered here across everything else, so we... Actually, I didn't want this to be purple. This is wrong. This and I want to assign purple to the bottom of this, so that's this cylinder. Sorry, Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this, so let's just add a last material um, here, let's add, make this gold as well. And I will just send this, I will just render this out. Maybe we can add some weird light somewhere. Actually no, here I want to increase the radius a bit. But I'm fine with this. Okay, let's just render this out and we're finished. Uh, so this is the final piece. 
The project files are available on Patreon if you don't want to follow the video and just want to purchase them. Uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.